Hello learners, this is Habiba with Excel with me. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Let's start today's class that is research in education. The topic is types of tools under which rating scale, attitude scale, aptitude test and achievement test, questionnaire inventory or all these types of tools. In the previous class, we have discussed thoroughly about rating scale. Today we are going to touch attitude scale. Now what is attitude scale? The degree of positive or negative effect associated to what? With a certain psychological entity or the predisposition of an individual towards a psychological entity, towards maybe an institution, ideal, maybe symbol, maybe phrase, maybe slogan or job or idea towards which people respond maybe positively or negatively. Whatever question we ask to the subject or the individual, we seek some opinion or their perspective that could be positive or negative. Related to any entity, psychological entity, we can have this attitude scale. Now, opinion or attitude scale, the inquiry form that attempts to assess the attitude or belief of an individual is known as an opinionaire or attitude scale. Now, depending on the way the questions are put and responses sought, obviously, if we want to seek any opinion of the person, definitely we will ask related to that question, such question we will ask that what kind of response or opinion we may get from the individual. So, that response may be positive or negative. Now, types of attitude scales let us discuss here. Now, various scaling techniques have led to the development of different types of attitude scales which provide quick and convenient measure of attitudes. However, the method of equal appearing intervals that is Thurston scales and method of summated ratings given by Likert scales have been extensively used in attitude or opinion research. The attitude scales that are developed using these scaling techniques consist of a number of carefully edited and selected items called statements. Now, the method of equal appearing intervals was originally developed by Thurston and Cave in the year 1929. Now, the attitude score of an individual obtained by this method has an absolute interpretation in terms of the psychological continuum of scale value of the statements making up the scale. Now, if this score falls in the middle range of the psychological continuum, the attitude of the individual is described as neutral. For example, if we are giving any question to the individual uh, the, under the scale, we give some range, average, below average, neutral, like that we give. If the in the continuum system, if the person's score falls in the middle, that is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, it falls in the neutral, that is th number 3, that is neutral, that is described as neutral, that is. Then if it falls towards the to favorable end of the continuum, it is described as favorable and it falls towards the unfavorable end, it is described as unfavorable, obviously. In the method of summated ratings developed by Likert, the item score is obtained by assigning arbitrary weights of 5, 4, 3, 2 and 1 for strongly agree, agree, undecided, disagree and strongly disagree respectively for the statements favoring a point of view. On the other hand, the scoring weights of 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are given for the respective responses for statements opposing this point of view. An individual score on a particular attitude scale is the sum of his or her rating on all the items. How many items, however, we are giving 
upon that individual score is taken. Now let's see the uses of attitude scales. Now attitude scales are used to measure the degree of, of positive or negative feeling associated with any slogan, person, institution, religion, political party, etc. That is the opinion or the feeling of the person related to all these things. Attitude scales are used in public opinion surveys in order to make some important and crucial decisions. Obviously, if you want to take any crucial decision, if you want to take opinion of others, this attitude scale helps a lot. Such as industrial, political, educational and other leaders seek knowledge of public opinions and attitudes. Now, educationists, for example, conduct opinion surveys to find out how people feel about educational issues, obviously. Now, business firms make public opinion surveys to find out what type of product or packaging or advertising appeals to the purchasers. Now, politicians conduct opinion surveys to predict how people will vote or what programs they are likely to favor. Now, let's see the limitations of attitude scales. The process of assessing attitude with the help of attitude scales has various limitations like first one is an individual may conceal his or her real attitude and express socially acceptable opinions only. Ma majorly, many times what happens? The individuals sometimes they don't give their own opinion. According to the social realities, whatever social as acceptable opinions they might give, that could be a limitation. Now, the second one, an individual may not really know how he or she feels about social issues and he or she may never have given the idea a serious consideration. Obviously, if any person is not having any idea related to social issues and we are asking the questions and having the attitude scale, they won't be able to give proper response. The third one is an individual may not be able to express his or her attitude towards an abstract situation unless he or she actually confronts with it in his or her real life. Obviously, if any individual cannot express towards the abstract situation which they are not confronted, they did not feel the real life situation, they won't be able to express the attitude properly. So these are the three limitations of attitude scale. We come to the end of this session, we will continue the types of tools in the further classes. Until then, thanks for your attention and time. If you like the video, please do like, share, subscribe and comment below. Thanks for your attention and time. Happy learning.